Now this year's first snow. I put the salt out on the sidewalk to keep it from getting uh, piled up with snow, hopefully, and to keep it from getting icy. It's a wet snow. It's not really cold right now, but it's beautiful. I love the first snow, and then I'm ready to move to Florida. <clears throat> There's the old leg from the other side. I'll do the same thing on this side. A little bit. There you go. Alright. Okay. Need to go right to there. Let's see if I got enough. No, I didn't cut off too much. The reason I heat up the, the metal is obvious. It melts the uh, plastiline clay. And then when it cools, that plastiline clay becomes like glue around it. redo his butt. Because one of the pictures I just noticed, his legs are a little wider spread than I thought. So. You want something? <coughs> bring that chair. No, Why don't you bring that chair made up? Made a mistake. I'm gonna have to go over to Ken's. Huh? I meant to go to Ken's. So oh, just... and you just got misdirected. Turn him to the side. You I've cut his, his butt. Off. I've cut his butt off because I noticed that he had a wider stance in the back. Yeah, butt looks alright, but where's his arm? Well, I'm getting ready to put it back on. I decided to... Why am I here if you're still doing the big shit? Well, I don't know. Why are you? I have a little music or something to play around here. Well, I can't... Or your radio shows or whatever. Well, I can't do that while I'm sculpting and doing it on camera. Alright, what I'm doing now is just heating up the end again. I made this one a little bit longer and curved inward so that uh, I could line up his leg with that hole. There we go. Now I need to bend it up while it's still soft inside. And that's good. Move it over just a little. That's good. Now I let the clay just cool off and see now putting that down in there with a bit uh, curved in keeps it from going forward and backward and, and having the uh, wire uh, in the front keeps it from moving sideways once the uh, clay sets up. Let's get busy. Alright what I'm doing now is just getting the leg started and I'm going down to where the knee is which I have measured out already down to there. As you can see, it's starting to come into shape. It starts to look like he's actually stretching. Okay, I got my camera back on. Todd, unfortunately, is still here. <laughs> he's a real pain in the wazoo. He keeps trying to be an artist. I, I just uh, 
keep telling them it's just hopeless, Todd. Just, just hopeless. Thing is, is, I agree with you most of the time. <laughs> as good as you are with your drawing, you call me up all the time saying, or well, not anymore, but you used to. I'm just going to quit. I can't do it anymore. I used to be able to draw. I can't anymore. Yeah, well. Where was it? You went to the Art Institute? Art Center. Oh. Okay. Is that one of those five and dime places? Might as well have been. The drawing skills <laughs> I have. Uh, wasn't Put Putnam there? He talked there a long time ago. Yeah. Putt's a good friend of mine. Yes. I took a work class from him. Well, he was a good friend until he passed away. Yeah, we took we went to his house and took a five day workshop. Oh, you were there too, huh? That's, That's great. Place. Isn't that a great place? Did you know his daughter Kim? No, I didn't. I got a picture of her. Uh, he did a painting of me sculpting her. And, really? Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll put it in this video. But uh, yeah, he did that for me a long time ago. I asked him if he'd. Do a portrait of me, and he said, "Sure." He said, "Act like you're sculpting my my niece and or my daughter." And uh, so he did a painting of her sitting on a stool in a saloon girl's outfit. Yeah. And uh, I got pictures. I took pictures of her in a saloon outfit. I was going to actually do a sculpture of her. Never did get get around to it. And I, when she passed away, I sent him the pictures so that he would have them. Oh, she passed away before he did. Oh yeah. Years before Jeez. he did. He he was what's, up. What'd she do that for? I don't know. Why does anybody? Oh, do she drugs? was on. Oh, it was a drug OD. Yeah. Oh, so it wasn't really suicide. No, it wasn't. It wasn't suicide, but uh, still, you know, it's sad. You see these That's great. You see these see. great artists, and you just don't know for real what their real challenges are. And yeah, look at you. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine is mental. Well, isn't that true with all of us? Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, that probably expedited Putman's death a bit. No, actually what happened was Putt was uh, putting insulation in his, in his uh, ceiling. Oh, he died accidentally? Yeah, it was uh, because of the uh, fiber of the uh, f fiberglass that he was putting up in the he breathed it in? Yeah. He didn't wear a mask. Did he die of pneumonia or something? Well, he died within just a few week, few days. So kind of... No, it, it, those fibers got in his lungs and it just... Uh, I think that's what happened, but... Anybody out there that knows Putt Putnam and how he passed away, that that's the story I was told. I'm not sure it's actually true. Hmm. What a loss. Man, what a loss. He's a character I sure like. Oh, he used to be on the Andy Williams show. He did. Yeah, he was. Uh, he, whenever, whenever we'd go to his house, he'd show us videos of uh, him and his gang. They, uh, Andy Williams, did these uh, kind of like uh, Keystone Cop type videos. You know, the black and white silence. Mm -hmm. And Putt was just his. His son was a real famous uh, uh, band. Uh, you know back in the 60s, or not 60s, but 80s and 90s. We actually went and saw him in concert. He used to do uh, comedy skits with that friend of his, yeah. that artist. Yeah, he, Neil, Neil oh, something? He was such a funny guy. What was that guy, Neil? He's a famous painter. Neil Boyle? Neil Boyle. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Neil Boyle, he passed away too. Did he? Yeah, years ago. Just old age. Neil Boyle. Yeah, I met him once at the at the Autry Museum. You no, know, it's sad. All the artists that I've known that have passed away. Part of life. Yeah. I wonder what people say about me when I pass away. I'll make sure the word gets out. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and all those people say, "Oh, damn it! Didn't he owe me ten bucks?" <coughs> You didn't work around as best as when you were young, did you? No. Although I was on a carrier, aircraft carrier. And yeah, but did you work? We don't know how much asbestos was uh, in the ceiling and in the walls. 
because this that was built in the eight, 1940s, not 1840s, but 1940s, late part of the uh, World War II, and uh, who knows what they put for insulation. I was on a ship for a few months, but that's it. Yeah. I was on that ship for two years. Yeah, but, um, see, I had a friend die of that mesothelioma, and he, he had worked for, with, uh, he had worked in a sanding asbestos in his workplace. Yeah. For many years. Well, you know, we chipped paint on board ship, and who knows what's in that paint. That's lead. Yeah. And, you know, we did it without masks. I don't think that's mesothelioma. I know. Different different deal. Besides that, lead would have got you away earlier. Lead poisoning. Yeah. Well, that was something, though, being on board that ship. Wow. Two solid slipping years on the ocean. Or actually uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. <sighs> you were in the Gulf? Yeah, I was... You never went overseas? No, I I was stationed in uh, Pensacola, let's see, in Puerto Rico. No, I volunteered to go on the Missouri when they recommissioned it. I was in the Gulf of Tonkin. I know. You were in Navy SEAL. <coughs> I was in the Gulf of Tonkin, but it was a little after the Vietnam War. Well, yeah, you're not old enough. <coughs> you were a Navy SEAL. Yeah. Well, you went through SEAL boot camp, right? It's not called boot camp, it's called SEAL BUDS. Well, SEAL training. It's called BUDS. Yeah. How'd you ever get I through that? I loved it, it was fun. It was fun and it was grueling and miserable, but it was fun. Did you ever say, I just can't do it anymore? Humor is how you get through it. <laughs> that, that's it, humor. Humor. If you can't laugh at situations, then you will quit. Uh, that's what it's about, man. Yeah. It's about your buddies kind of encouraging you to get through it. I, I, you know, that's really true, too, because if you got good buddies, a good tight... I tried to encourage people to not quit. Yeah. And it doesn't always work. I, I well, saw some guys people... just go ring the bell. I said, come on, don't do it, man. This will be over in a few minutes. Yeah. And you can't convince them when they're fucking freezing to death. Yeah, I know. I was pretty tough-minded. I. But... Well, you, you just have to build in your mind that you're, it's going to be over at some point. It's not going to last forever. And if you can just work through it.